I should make an addendum about this video about Milo because I see two sides to this. In this last video I made called Milo Yiannopoulos and the Berkeley Riots, I'm talking about the perspective of the protester and why they're protesting. Why they're angry. You know, if you provoke someone and they get angry, that's they got angry not because they're idiots, because they got provoked. And maybe they're less smart, maybe a really intelligent person, if they're provoked, won't resort to anger. But that doesn't mean that everyone won't resort to anger. And like, la la la, the other video is the other video. But I fully support Milo and everyone else's right to free speech, to say whatever the fuck you want. Unless, of course, you're inciting violence. Or, or something like that. Like if I got on here and was like, go do this thing that's illegal. Everyone, come on, right now at four o'clock on Monday, do this illegal thing together. You know, that could be like, that's no longer, I guess that's no longer free speech. Even if it infringes on no one's rights, but it's illegal, it becomes not, I'm, it's, I'm not free to advocate breaking the law, technically, according to the constitution. But then the Constitution says if a law is unjust, or I don't know if the Constitution says this, but Thomas Jefferson used to say that. I say it. If a law is unjust, we're supposed to break it and fix it, change it. I highly support free speech. And it's... What, what bothers me is this conflagration of comedy. When people say and do dumb shit, and then they just pretend like, I'm just a comic. It's just funny. Oh, I know it's offensive, but it's just, it's just comedy. But like, life's not a joke. Especially, I mean, you can see how serious shit is getting. It's not a fucking joke. So, to say and do dumb shit right now and then blame it on comedy is a fucking risky move. I watch a lot of Joe Rogan experience podcast and he's a comedian. You know, he gets away... He's brilliant, but he'll get he gets away with he'll he'll be saying really smart saying really smart, and then every once in a while he'll say some really dumb thing, and be like, "But I don't know anything of what I'm talking about. I'm just a comedian." It's like, well, you're also a popular public figure, and I mean, it's like, are you a scientist? Are you a librarian? Does it even fucking matter? If you're offending people, you're offending people. Whatever label you want to slap on it. So I hope that Milo realizes how offensive he's being and it's an easy way to get popular, to be super offensive in public. Yeah, well. I support his right to free speech and I support the Berkeley protesters' right to free speech as well to say we don't fucking want you here. Because if someone, of course Berkeley is a, is, is a, public school um, I think you could probably get thrown off campus for loitering because it's a private there, there's some semblance of privacy there like if I walk into a classroom and, and just start yelling at the teacher and all the students it's not like it's a public park they'll be like get this guy out of here so if someone came over to your house and just started provoking you and saying like you're an asshole you're a fucking loser you stupid piece of shit for like an hour and they just kept doing it and doing it and doing it, you'd throw them the fuck out of your house. You'd say, I don't want you in my house. You have the right to say that, but I have the right to not to, to ask you to leave my house and fucking force you out of my house if you won't leave. Of course, then the, the whole public school system is like, doesn't really belong to the protesters, doesn't belong to Milo. Neither of their rights supersede the other in this instance. On a bit of, of an off-topic, check out BioClorella. It's a type of seaweed that is extremely good for you. All right. After I posted that other video, I immediately got four down votes. I was like, wow, I think that video was so one-sided that I didn't exactly explain that I see both sides of this situation and I support Milo and I want him to be able to say dumb shit, but also to realize that if you do that, which you have the right to do, you're going to get this kind of vehemence in response. So understand why.
then the dog metaphor, you know, you can kick a dog. Well, you can't kick a dog, but just, just understand that people are animals. They're emotional creatures first. Law and order came well after our emotions. Emotions are the basis for what we are. Rules and logic are secondary. So understand emotions and you'll be able to better communicate with people.